Where is all my money going? And why do I not have any money left over? Mm, have you ever found yourself asking this or thinking this? Mm -hmm. Well, if you have, probably financial discipline is something of an issue. Yep. And we're going to have a conversation about financial discipline and ways to correct it. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. <laughs> Let me put the mug down. All okay, right. so. Three. Let's, oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, I, I was oh. going to go into it. Oh, let's get gonna, into I, it then. I was going to get no, into it. let's keep it Oh, keep it wrong. Yeah, it's a conversation. <laughs> we ain't gonna cut this. No cuts. All right, conversation. no cut. Why no not? cut. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna get right into it. Financial discipline is not something that's only practiced by people that need the financial discipline. Yeah. Financial discipline needs to be practiced by everybody. Yes. Whether you're rich, poor, or somewhere in the middle, this is a topic for everybody to get the grasp on and have an understanding of financial discipline because it's very important. If you're an adult, I think it's something that yes. you need to practice. Like and in I, some way, shape or form, it, it affects us all in some capacity. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we have, there's been examples of athletes and celebrities that, that are millionaires that go broke. Yeah. But how is this, how is something like this happening? Mm -hmm. Because, I think it revolves around, and there's an aspect, there's many aspects to it, yeah. but one of the major aspect, aspects is financial discipline, yeah. a lack of financial discipline. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important for us to have a conversation like this because this is what we talk about on Humble Beginnings to Winning. We, we talk about bettering finances, bettering yeah. relationships, and having inspiring and motivating conversations. Yeah. So I think this is a great topic for us to have. Mm -hmm. So... Financial discipline mm -hmm. is something that we know is a part of life, yeah. a, a part of adulthood, and mm -hmm. something that needs to be practiced. So why is it so hard for so many people? Why is it so hard for the average person to mm -hmm. get a grip on their discipline with finances and use it in their daily life mm -hmm. so that they can better themselves financially and put themselves in better places? It's a good question. Um, I personally think that it is like a multi-layer thing. I think that there are a lot of aspects or a lot of things that do affect people's relationships with money, for one. So I think that I can't speak for everybody, but I think one of the issues is that a lot of people have an unhealthy relationship with money. Mm. And simply, they want what they want. And that kind of goes hand to hand because... You're, th you're not setting any boundaries or limitations or parameters around your money. It's just like, oh, I got paid. I paid my rent. You right. know, I paid my car right. note. I'm going to spend the rest on clothes or I'm going to yeah. go out and eat and I'm going to party or do this and do that. And, you know, we're not saying that you can't do that at all, but you have to set certain boundaries and have discipline so that, you know, should the unexpected happen or if you are trying to save up for something very big, you have the means to do so and you're not looking, you know, come, you know, two weeks later when it's time for you to do my budgeting, you say, where's, where's all, my, all money? my money? Like, right. where's my money going? And trust right. me, and you can speak for me on this. I have been there before, <laughs> Yes, you know, so I get it. But until you want to establish a healthy relationship with your money and create discipline and have boundaries when it comes to it um you know you're just going to find yourself kind of going through that repeated cycle yeah. over and over and over and i feel like it's it's like you said mm -hmm. there's layers to it yeah i think one of the layers and a huge layer is that mm -hmm. the lack of education there's a lot mm -hmm. of a lack of education when it comes yeah. to mm -hmm. finances in general mm -hmm. and then not understanding you know the discipline aspect of it because mm -hmm. Like you said, you get paid every two weeks or something and your money goes to rent, it goes to bills and mm -hmm. whatever's left over. You're like, OK, it's time to go to the mall. It's time yeah. to go splurge. It's time to get hop on Amazon or something. It's kind of like when you're in school, you know, in order for you to really excel in a subject, someone has to, you know, kind of provide you with some information mm -hmm. on it. And then 
you then have to go home and do the homework, you know, right. to get that extended studying and being able to absorb it so you know the information. It's not the same, but it's similar when it comes to your financial discipline too, because without the lack of education, how are you how are you supposed to learn or, or know anything? Right. You know, the same way it's taught in school and you have that education and then you go and you do your homework, that's how you better yourself in a subject and you become more versed in it. If there's no one to provide that education or it's not instilled in your family or anything like that, or you just don't, you know, take the time to, to do it yourself, then you're going into every situation or not every, let me not say that, but you're going into most situations blind because right. you don't, you don't know where you're at in your, your path, you know, right. you know, you may know that, okay, my rent is X number of dollars and this, this and that we know that, but like, how much money can you truly be saving, yeah. you know, if you're not tracking it, if yeah. you're just spending everything with no limit or budget on what and, you want to do? And you make and a, I'm sorry, not what you want to do, but you know what I'm trying to say. Right. Mm -hmm. And you make a good point because if it's not taught in your household mm -hmm. with your family, mm -hmm. and obviously we know it's not taught in school, which is a crying shame, but yeah, not taught in school and it's not taught at home then where are you getting this education from? Mm -hmm. And this is the reason why we made this channel Humble mm -hmm. Beginnings to Winning because we want to cater to the people that come from Humble Beginnings, that come from underprivileged backgrounds, that don't have the information privy to them mm -hmm. and don't have experience from their family to provide those mm -hmm. type, that type of education. Yeah, and what if you, you know, let's say you recognize that, but you're like, okay, well, where do I even begin? You right, know? So right. I think it's, it's good that we are talking about this and yeah. And you know, there are people that have acknowledged that they don't have the proper education when it comes mm -hmm. to finances and they want to better that. Yep. And, but they just don't know where to begin. Um, of course we're not financial advisors or anything like that, but we're just speaking from our own experience. But mm -hmm. what are, you know, five ways that you think will help better Mm, um, financial habits and creating that discipline. Right. Um, five ways. I'll start off with the first and foremost, the number one most important, I think, mm -hmm. and that we think is budgeting. Yeah. I think you got to start with a budget because when you actually budget out your money and you budget out whatever, whatever your income is, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, uh, uh, $20,000 or $80,000 or even yep. more, you have to set a budget yep. and, that's where the financial discipline really starts mm -hmm. because once you know what your income is and your expenses, then at that point, that's when you can start allocating funds for, you know, different categories and things like that. Exactly. And budgeting is the roadmap, the financial roadmap to wherever you, you go, you know, yeah. because that is what's going to tell you what you have money to do X, Y, and Z for. A hundred percent. Now, uh, the second one in, Every, the other four aren't really in any particular order. Yeah. But I will say limiting those impulsive purchases. Ooh, and <laughs> I'm one of those people. I am very <laughs> impulsive. I've def certainly gotten better she has over gotten the years. Way better. But I better. used to be this type of person. I can walk by a store, didn't even think about it, didn't even cross my mind. Then I see it and I'm like, oh, perhaps perhaps <laughs> I need an perhaps, item perhaps. from the store. No, indeed. Um, and, you know, that can create bad financial habits because then you think every store that you go into, you have to purchase something. And yeah. that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. Now, the third one is think about long term goals. Mm -hmm. Think about long term aspirations. What do mm -hmm. you want? Something that n needs finances to fund mm -hmm. whatever you want as mm -hmm. far as a goal. Yeah. Think about a house. Do you want to buy a house? Do you want to go on that lavish vacation? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be able to provide nice Christmas gifts for yeah, your son, or, your or daughter, your nephew, school. something, mm -hmm. or go back to school? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that require money. Most things do require money. Yes. So <laughs> um, if you start looking at life and you start having a mindset like, okay, I, I know that I could probably afford this right now, but I'm going to use my financial discipline right now so that I can have a big, bright, better tomorrow mm -hmm. with the things that I aspire for and the things that mm -hmm. are goals mm -hmm. in the future. Now, the fourth thing that I will say is treat credit cards like cash. 
Have you ever gone into a store with a credit card mm -hmm. and swiped and thought nothing of it? Right. I guarantee you, if you had cash in your hand, that same amount that you spent, let's say you spent $100 on something. It hits a little different. It hits a little <laughs> different. It hits a little different. Yeah. Because you so, realize that, oh, this is this is my money. This isn't right. Chase. I don't know what it is about <laughs> physical cash in your hand. Mm -hmm. Now, most people don't carry cash. We don't carry cash anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, very rarely. Yeah. Very rarely. Um, but there's something about that physical bill in your hand or bills in your hand. Mm -hmm. So when you actually spend it, it actually feels like real money. Actually, because it is it real is money. It is real money. <laughs> but... A credit card is real money, too. Yeah. Even though it's just a swipe of $100, okay, that's cool. But eventually, you're going to have to pay for that $100. And it's money that you have to pay back. It's, you know? yeah, it's so, money that uh -huh. you have to pay back. So people treat a lot of people treat credit cards like it's imaginary money. Mm -hmm. It's not imaginary money. Yeah. You have to pay it back. Yeah. And hopefully, you're paying your credit card in full each month because you don't want to rack up a whole bunch of interest because you're not paying your, your monthly bill every month mm -hmm. now of course there's circumstances where you know you can't be able to do it but don't be in the circumstance where you're of the mindset that oh this this isn't real money and you're just swiping 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 mm -hmm. and to the point where eventually you max out a credit card and now you're struggling to get back even yeah. don't don't be in that situation yeah. and i know there's a lot of people that are and have been but you want to get to the mindset that treat it like cash mm -hmm. treat that that swipe like it was cash. And I think that would really help when it comes to financial discipline. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, if you just gave a store three, four hundred dollars, it's going to hurt a little bit. You're yeah. like, ah, do I really do I really want to give you all this or do I want to put some of this to the side and save it for something else? Uh -huh, you know, So uh -huh. um, I hear you on that. And I guess I would say the last one is and it's very simple, you know, just say no. Mm. Sometimes you can't go to every outing, you can't go to every sporting event. Um, you know, you just have to say no and it does suck. But if you, again, kind of think back on some of the other tips that we mentioned and you go back to like, where do I see myself in the future? Mm -hmm. What goals do I want to set forth for the future? Um, and you really have a why that you right. can revert back to that is going to help you stay on track with being disciplined and make it a little bit easier. I get it. Like, Everyone experiences FOMO, you know, you don't right. want to miss out on all the activities and whatnot. But if you really want to make it to your goal um, and really be, you know, build um, a healthy relationship with money and build better financial habits, um, you just got to say no. Yeah, you, you, know? got, you have to say no sometimes. And a, and a good mm -hmm. example that I could bring up is related to food mm -hmm. and fitness because it kind of goes hand in hand with the discipline aspect mm -hmm. of it. Sometimes you just got to say no to that junk food. Yeah. Sometimes you got to say no to the chips and mm -hmm. the candy and things like that and the soda. Yeah. Why? Yes, it tastes good, but mm -hmm. you can't have that every single day. You have to say no so that you can continue to be on a healthy journey and, yep. and live healthily yep. and continue to stay fit. So the discipline aspect kind of goes hand in hand with finances and, and fitness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to say no. And yep. even though it might suck in the moment and you're mm -hmm. like, ah, oh, man, I wish I could do this. And you could, but the discipline saying no really can go a long way for your financial health, for your fitness health, mm -hmm. and just overall building better habits. And yep. that's what it's all about. So we're hoping that you got some value mm -hmm. out of today's video where we're breaking down financial discipline yeah. but also giving you five improvements that you can use in your everyday life that will help your financial discipline. And humble beginnings to winning yep. is all about that. Trying to serve people. And this is what we're doing here on this channel. Mm -hmm. And we were going to continue to do through each conversation that we have. So please subscribe. Please like the video, share the video, and continue to be on this journey with us. Yep. So my name is Shane. I'm Jen. And this is Humble Beginnings to Winning. Bye, guys. Enjoy the journey.